Hi everybody, this is Teresa from Little Trees Treasures and uh, I'm here to do the 2018 um, holiday tradition tag. Um, it was originally started by Melanie um, and she changed her channel name, <laughs> sorry to cross it out, uh, the way I see it. Um, so uh, unfortunately this week has been a an extremely rough week for me. Um, I was going to do this video two nights ago, um, and then I ended up having a two-hour EMDR uh, therapy session on Tuesday, and I was uh, just totally drained mentally and physically and in pain from the tips of my hair to the tips of my toenails. Um, and then yesterday... Um, I cannot get into detail here, um, but there was a few things that happened yesterday that uh, not only were very triggering, but also brought up a lot of the things that came up on Tuesday in EMDR, and um, today hasn't been the greatest of days either, and um, so, yeah, but I've been watching everybody else's videos, and I've decided I better do this um, before I have nobody left to tag, because I have a list of people that I want to tag, um, and at least one of those people has been tagged already. Um, so, um, I was going to do this a different way, but unfortunately, since this is the way I have to do it right now, uh, we are again sitting out at my desk. I do have my 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 butterfly lamp on, even though with like the flash on, you can't really see it. Um, but anyways, uh, I'm gonna just have the paper show in, and I will read and answer the questions. Um, now, I, I think Melanie tagged me, um, but she spelled Teresa T-E-R-E-S-A, -E -E and I spell it with an H, so T-H-E-R-E-S-A. So I'm not sure if she meant me, Teresa, or a different Teresa, um, but I was 110% tagged by Dana from Tabitha's Treasures. Um, there is a playlist. Um, I will, after this uploads and stuff, um, I will try and make sure that I get mine added to the playlist. I'm not 100% sure how, but um, I, I will do my best to, to try and do that. Um, so and this is probably, my answers are probably getting going to be pretty boring and whatnot, but um, let's go for it. Um, so number one, when do you decorate for the holidays? Well, the answer to that is usually when all four of our daughters are home. Problem with that this year is that um, our youngest mom has basically traded slash taken away all of our weekends with our youngest daughter until after Christmas. Uh, so we had her for Thanksgiving and we won't see her until after Christmas. Um, and usually uh, the husband brings the tree up and gets the ornaments down and all that stuff and... Um, I supervise the children <laughs> um, decorating the tree. Like, I'll help unwrapping them, uh, unwrapping the ornaments and getting them set up, you know, in a train style or whatever on the table. And they'll just grab, come and grab one and go put it on the tree. Um, so, uh, it, it's never the same day. It's just when we get a chance. And this year, we're just going to have to figure it out, I guess, um, because our youngest won't be able to be involved, which is pretty sad. But anyways, so um, number two, what style do you decorate in? Um, I don't have a style. 
any like specific like named style. Um, so I decorate Teresa style, I guess, with uh, whatever I like. So if I like it and it's cute or my kids made it for me or whatever, that's what I decorate in. Um, like the Christmas tree goes up, the Christmas tree gets decorated. If I get Christmas cards, sometimes they get like taped to the wall near the front door or near the Christmas tree. And that's pretty much the extent of it. We have two cats in this house that tear everything apart. Um, so all the room there is to be had <laughs> to keep things away from the cats is already taken by things that are uh, normally in our environment. And I'm not going to take those things away to put up Christmas things. Um, so it's just the tree. We don't decorate outside. We don't, none of that. Um, but I'll have to tell you a funny story, um, that we've been talking about for kind of a while here. Anyway, so, um, number three, what is your favorite Christmas tradition? Um, <sighs> no matter what day it happens or whatever, um, my favorite tradition is just having my in-laws, all our kids, and us here at our house under our roof all together for Christmas. It's my favorite tradition. It's my favorite gift. It's my favorite everything. Um, having my family together, um, to me, is number one. Ab above and beyond anything else, um, that is my absolute favorite thing about holidays is, um, being surrounded by, um, people that I love, people that I can trust. And, um, for me, that's, that's a very huge thing. I have some pretty major, uh, trust issues <laughs> and whatever. So anyways, um, sorry. <sighs> Moving on. Uh, what is your favorite place to buy holiday decor or yarn? I really don't buy holiday decor. Um, if I'm out and about and I see something that I absolutely fall in love with and I absolutely have to have that's an ornament for the tree, um, I will get it. It doesn't matter where it is. Um, if I fall in love with it and I have to have it, I will get it. Um, but that really doesn't happen very often. So, uh, favorite place to buy yarn. Um, here locally, uh, we have two Walmarts. <laughs> One is a half hour north of us and a little bit north of that is a Joann's Fabrics. Like about half an hour south of us is like uh, another town that has a uh, Walmart. Otherwise, um, to get to a Michaels, it's an hour or more away. Um, Hobby Lobby, same. So uh, yarn would be Walmart or Joann's because those are what I have closest available to me. Um, what is your favorite holiday movie? Um, so, okay, I'll just say this real quick. Um, I am not a person to pick favorites. Uh, like my favorite color is emerald slash forest green. My favorite number is five. Above and beyond that, I don't really have favorites. I cannot pick favorites. The, there's too many things that I like and it depends on my mood and it depends on what strikes me and whatever. So it, it's really um, tough for me to pick favorites, but, uh, my favorite holiday movie is not a traditional holiday movie. Um, but I absolutely love the movie, The Family Stone. If you haven't seen the movie, The Family Stone, um, you should, you should watch it. It has, uh, an absolutely fabulous cast it 
will make you cry. It will make you laugh. It will make you everything in between. It's, it's just an amazing movie. And that's my favorite holiday movie. Uh, so number six, eggnog, hot chocolate, or apple cider. I tried eggnog, don't like it. Apple cider, eh, I'll drink apple cider, but like most people have said, that's kind of more of like a Halloween-ish type thing. I don't really think about it any other time of the year. And most of the time I leave juice like for the kids because that's what kids drink for the most part at my house. So, um, it has to be hot chocolate, which I don't really drink that often anyways, but it's my favorite. Um, it used to be the only hot drink that I drank, um, until my husband got me to finally, uh, try and attempt to drink coffee. Um, so I have been drinking coffee recently. Um, but yeah, hot chocolate. Uh, number seven, do you leave cookies out for Santa? Um, if we have cookies and if the kids remind us to, yes. Uh, what kind? Uh, the question was actually chocolate chip or sugar and, uh, it's whatever cookies we have that are open in the house. If we have cookies, like we won't go specifically buy cookies if we don't have cookies just to leave out cookies for Santa. And Santa doesn't come to our house anyway. Um, so we haven't left out cookies for Santa in a couple of years. <laughs> um, all the gifts either come from mom and dad or granny and grandpa. So, um, or Grandma Paulette. Um, so, you know, like, Santa doesn't really exist in our house. Um, and that seems to be okay with everybody. So, I'm okay with that. Um, number eight. Do you have a real or artificial tree? <laughs> artificial? Are you kidding me? No way am I going to have to try and deal with a real tree with two cats and a dog in the house. Mm -mm. No, 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 no. My artificial tree has already been like half destroyed by the cats the first year and then half destroyed by the cats on the second year. And now uh, this will be the third year that it's put up and it we'll see how, how well it fares this year. Um, but it's like a really dark color. So it's almost like black which I absolutely love and it's pre-lit. So that makes things a lot easier um, when I am helping supervise decoration, decorating the tree. Um, number nine, what is your favorite holiday dessert? Um, I'm not a dessert person, like pretty much at all. Um, but since there's a favorite holiday cookie and a favorite holiday dessert, I'll have to say for the favorite holiday dessert, um, would be my grandma's pumpkin pie, which I haven't had in 14 years. Um, she passed away the day before Thanksgiving, um, the year or when I was pregnant with, um, the second youngest and she turned 13 this year. So that is 14 years as of the week of sometime the week of, uh, Thanksgiving. Um, what's your favorite holiday cookie? Um, my great grandma's sugar cookies. My great grandma used to make, she would save ice cream buckets all year long The you know, uh, ice cream pail things. And she would make for each family a pail of sugar cookies. And they were all, you know, Christmas cookie cutter, you know, stars and uh, trees and, you know, whatever, um, with her homemade frosting. And then she'd put sprinkles on them. 
and I have not had those um, for <laughs> an even longer time <laughs> because uh, great-grandma passed away um, when the second oldest was nine months old and she turned 16 this year so that'd be about 17 years at least <laughs> since I've had her Christmas cookies um, does your family open gifts on Christmas Eve or Christmas Day or another holiday um, so on Christmas Day whatever kids are home and us um, open presents usually um, if one of the one or both of the younger two are at their other parents house um, then they open their presents when they get home um, and then the rest of the presents are opened when um, we are able to have all of the kids home and granny and grandpa are able to come down and uh, spend the holiday with us. So um, Christmas Day and potentially another one or two other days for kids and then the family holiday. <laughs> so, you know, it's kind of spread out. Um, do you decorate your retreat alone or with your family? I supervise and my kids decorate. The hubby gets it all out and puts it all away. That's his job. <laughs> you know, we all have our jobs. So I guess we do it as a family. Um, where do you go on Christmas Day? Uh, home and in my pajamas and comfy. Um, we, uh, yeah, I'm not going to even go back that far. Uh, so yeah, home. Um, what is your favorite holiday smell? Um, I just watched Karen from Happiness is Homemade's, um, holiday traditions tag video, and I'm much like her. I am very sensitive to smells. They can give me a headache or migraine very easily. Um, for the most part, I can't even wear like perfume. I have a very hard time even wearing like uh, certain deodorants or body sprays or anything like that because if it's um, too smelly or it has a certain smell included in it, like I can't, I just, I, I can't. <laughs> It'll make me sick. Uh, yeah. So, uh, my favorite holiday smell, um, I would have to say is when my husband is, uh, baking hams for Thanksgiving and he's making his homemade honey glaze, no matter what flavor he's making it this year, both of the hams that he made were, was, um, strawberry honey glaze. So yum, yum, fabulous. And it smelled delicious in the house for two days. So I guess my favorite smell is the meal being cooked because ham and mashed potatoes and gravy, mashed potatoes and gravy is actually like my favorite dessert. Don't, don't shoot me, <laughs> but it's true. I would go for a second helping of mashed potatoes and gravy over any sugary dessert every day of the week and twice on Sundays. Uh, so last one, uh, what is your favorite thing to make during the holidays and is it for yourself or someone else? Um, much like a lot of other people, I really like to make things that keep me warm during the, when it's cold outside. I mean, come on, I live in Minnesota and Minnesota gets freaking cold um, so I love working on blankets, shawls, um, you know, things that help keep me warm while I'm crocheting. And if it's not something big enough to keep me warm, you bet I am wrapped up in a blanket working on whatever it is I'm working on. <laughs> what 
whether it be a hat, a washcloth, a dishcloth, a, you know, whatever. Uh, but I, I absolutely love um, making things for the people that I care about. Um, that, no matter what time of year, is my absolute favorite. If I know um, somebody I care about need something or they seen something they liked and I can make something either you know similar or exactly like it or whatever um you bet I'm making that thing for them um it, it, it's just a matter of time <laughs> so uh I wrote down who I want to tag um so uh there is Ruthie at Pink Pumpkin Crochet Sonia at Sonia Jones Crafty Life. Um, Renee at Renee's Crochet Designs. Christina at Mother Cow Crochet. Um, Kim, I know you've already been tagged, um, but I forewarned you that I was tagging you, so I'm 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 double tagging ya. Kim, uh, the Crafty Nomad. Uh, Bonnie, my Bonnie Crochet, and Erin uh, and Chip. Uh, at Fiber Hustle. Now, I can't guarantee all these people are going to be actually doing this because, uh, like, I know f for sure that, like, three of these people watch my videos, but I'm not sure about the rest of them, um, which is why I ended up picking seven people. Um, I did think about, obviously, you can see um, Ella and Melody, um, but I figured I would take them off because I wanted to tag um, people with smaller channels that I feel should have more followers than they do. People that I absolutely love and adore, and I think, um, well, I don't think... I know I want to get their name out there more so, you know, I love Ella and I love Melody, don't get me wrong, so if they see this and they feel so inclined to do it, I would absolutely love um, to see their videos also. Um, but um, these other people on this list I think are absolutely fantastic and um, I would like to see their answers to the, to the questions too. Um, so with the, um, oh yes, the, uh, I was saying I was going to tell you a story, so I'm going to try and keep it quick cause I'm at uh, 23 minutes. Um, so we have joked around for the last couple of years that we are going to get my husband a Santa suit and we're going to dress him up as Santa and, uh, for Halloween. And he can hand out, you know, candy canes and stuff on Halloween. <laughs> uh, we just thought it would just be uh, fun and silly. And, um, you know, the first year we lived here, um, this is our third holiday season here um, since we bought the house. And uh, the first year... Um, my husband sat outside in a chair outside the front door uh, with a hoodie on and the bucket of candy. And of course, you know, we just have the light on. We're not huge decorating people. So, I mean, it's not like there's decorations all over or anything. Um, but he scared quite a few people. Um, and we've actually discussed getting some Christmas decorations after I go on clearance sale and stuff if we can get them this Santa suit and actually like put the Christmas decorations out for Halloween and then he can be Santa and then if I feel so inclined I can be Mrs. Claus and the kids can be elves and uh you know <laughs> we just thought he just thinks it would be so fun um yeah anyways so that's my cool little story. Um, sorry, this is kind of lame and boring. Um, I don't really want to dig into my past uh, about past traditions and uh, things with uh, quote-unquote 
my family. Um, I haven't spoken to them in years and, uh, I've thought about them enough this week and I, I, I just don't want to anymore. I, I'm done this week. I, yeah. Um, so also with the, uh, Instagram thing, the having your wish wishes granted or whatever thing, um, that's been going around for the holiday season. Um, I didn't get a whole ton of response. Um, the response that I did get, um, there were either already plans of sending something for that person or there is a future craft swap in the works, um, with them for the time frame that we've worked out. Um, and I will be doing those in the future. Um, and I'll let you know, uh, when those come up. Um, but other than that, I haven't really, uh, gotten response. Um, so I will be doing a new different video, um, for those three sets of stitch markers. And if I don't really get a good response, then I guess I will keep them. I mean, I don't know. I just pick three random people. I don't know. Uh, I'll have to figure it out. So I'm going to do, um, a different video for that. So keep an eye out for that. Um, and yeah, remember under that moon, we're all here. We're all here together for each other and uh, to those who have reached out to me and said that they they've missed me and been wondering how I've been and all that kind of a thing thank you um, I've come to really like doing these videos um, I like watching other people's videos I like commenting uh, I like interacting, um, and just, <sighs> big hugs to everybody. I'm sorry, it's been a rough week, and I'm a hugger, so I just want everybody to feel a big, warm hug from me, um, because I probably need about that many hugs right now. <laughs> Not literally, but you know. Yeah. So, until next time. Happy crafting and happy holidays. <laughs>